to Morton Island, the third largest sand island in the world. Only an hour's boat ride from Brisbane brings you to the crystal clear waters and golden sandy beaches of Tangaluma Island Resort. With over 80 tours and activities to choose from, the hard thing is going to be deciding exactly what you do first. Hit the trails on a quad bike tour, head to the Tangaluma Desert and try sand tobogganing, or if you're a bit of a water baby, grab a snorkel and mask and explore the 15 shipwrecks. For a bird's eye view, get up in the air and try parasailing. And from June to October, get up close and personal to the migrating humpback whales that pass through Morton Bay. There's loads of other activities to try, including stand-up paddleboarding, sailing a catamaran, paddling a kayak, or you could even hire a tinny and head out on your own adventure. If you prefer to stay on dry land, then our Segway tour will give you a chance to explore the beaches. There's also over 40 free activities for you to enjoy, from volleyball to squash and archery to tennis, plus many more. There's seven styles of accommodation at Tangaluma, including the luxury deep blue apartments, the picturesque beachfront villas, the comfortable hotel rooms, or the hilltop houses with their stunning panoramic views of Morton Bay. Tangaluma is nestled between two national parks, Morton Bay Marine Park and Morton Island National Park. Being 98% national park, there are so many different places to explore. From Cape Morton Lighthouse in the north, through the Champagne Pools and Honeymoon Bay, down to the freshwater wonder that is the Blue Lagoon. Morton Bay is home to an abundance of marine life, including over 800 dolphins, 1,000 dugongs, 2,000 loggerhead turtles, and over 10,000 green sea turtles. The Tangaluma Marine Education and Conservation Centre offer a number of tours, talks, and presentations if you want to learn more. Tangaluma is famous for its dolphins. It's one of the only places in the world where you can hand feed wild bottlenose dolphins right on the beach. The dolphins started coming to Tangaluma around about 30 years ago. That's when lights were installed on the jetty. By those lights being installed, the lights attracted bait fish, which in turn attracted larger fish, which in turn attracted dolphins. Betty Osborne, one of the owners of Tangaluma, started feeding the dolphins and the dolphin feeding program was established. The dolphins that come in here to Tangaluma are wild dolphins, so we do see many different wild dolphin behaviours. Because we only feed these dolphins a very small amount of their daily intake, we do see many different hunting techniques that they do display, such as inverted hunting. We also see them do behaviours such as spy hopping, that's when they'll stick their head above the water. We'll also see them chasing each other. We do take data on these dolphins every night and that data is used by researchers and universities all around the world. Whether you're here for an adventure to get close to nature or simply relax, Morton Island has got something for everybody. At any age, on any day, Tangaluma is the place to be.